Hello everyone, welcome to JNTH exam updates. First of all, thank you guys for amazing response to our last video. We had more than 10k likes, 10k views for that video. But if you are new here, please do not forget to subscribe guys. I am putting all my efforts in making these videos and please watch this video till the end to understand about JNTH new question paper pattern because I have asked you in the Instagram that uh, what video should I make next most of the people commented that please make about question paper pattern and how the new question paper pattern is going to be so we are here with a video if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to help you guys with this questions so in this video we will discuss about the question paper pattern for R18 and R22 regulation some people ask me that uh, they have written an exam in COVID pattern in the past and will the supply of the same exam now will be in the COVID pattern or regular pattern. So for your information guys, I just want to tell you that um, all the upcoming exams in JNTH will be of regular pattern. The COVID pattern has been discontinued. So now no exam will be in the COVID pattern. All the exams will be in this regular pattern which I am going to explain in this video. So let us discuss the question paper pattern of R18 students. So you can fast forward the video if you want to uh, see the R22 regulation pattern because after R18 I am going to explain the R22 regulation. So you can just fast forward the video a little bit and just go on to see the R22 regulation. So now let us discuss about the R18 question paper pattern. Now JNTH question paper pattern R18 will consist of two parts. So previously you had like only one part in which you had uh, write any five and you had the choices of writing any five. Now you have, you will get part A and part B. Part A will consist of short question as shown in the image. Please ignore the subject or whatever it is. The image is just for the reference only. You can see you have part A. There will be 10 questions consisting of two and three marks each. So this is for R18, two and three marks each. From each unit, you will get two questions. One is for two marks and one is for three marks and part B will consist of long questions you will get 10 marks for each question and from every unit you will get two questions each so for example there is an option be option between two question number two and question number three you can attempt any one question that will be awarded marks and if you know both for example you are very good at first unit and you know both the answers of the first unit and if you are writing both the answers then either question number two or question number three will get marks and another will not be a given marks so here if you know two questions i know two questions i'm writing to all the two questions from unit one itself and uh, you will be not awarded marks for example 10 marks are there they will just select any one of the one of the question and they will give marks so this is same for the rest of the question paper so two add three four or five six or seven seven or eight eight or nine nine or ten so this will be oh sorry 10 or 11 so this will be the paper pattern so you can just check with that uh, for the reference i have just given the image also in some question papers this is a simple pattern in in some question papers you will have questions with sub questions like 2a 2b 3a 3b 4a 4b 4c so here you can completely write either 2a 2b or 3a 3b but not 3a 2b or 2a 3b if you write like that only half marks will be awarded so you are going to get only five marks in that circumstance you are not going to get uh, i mean like if you are writing 2 2a and 3b for let us assume that and you have written it perfectly but even though you will be getting only five marks because the choice is here we have the choice so for r18 you need to focus on short questions to get more marks so also remember uh, you have 26 marks you pass marks so you have to reach 26 marks so for that i i suggest just concentrate on short questions and even on the long questions as well completely but short questions will give you more marks for example if you are getting 10 marks in the short questions then you need only 16 marks from long questions which will not be a big task so yeah and uh, now let's come to the r22 pattern uh, r22 regulation 22 this will be similar to r18 pattern but the part a short answers will consist of only one mark so here we can see you have one to ten uh, a to j questions and each question will carry one mark and uh, from every unit you will get two questions like you can see in the image unit one one first question from first and second question from unit one 
second third and fourth question from unit 2 so this will be continue and part b will consist of long questions consisting of 10 marks each so for the long questions you will have 10 marks each so whatever it is you have to write the same thing as you can see in the image you will get a choice for every unit question you can answer question number two or question number three but not both and if you are answering board, only one question will be awarded marks. So you might also get sub questions like 2A, 2B, 3A, 3B in which you need to answer either 2A, 2B or 3A, 3B. I mean like one complete answer, but not like 2A, 3B or 3A, 2B. In such cases, only half marks will be awarded. Same as a R18 students. The, I mean, like you will be awarded only five, five marks. And, uh, in that is, in that if you don't write it perfect, then four or three marks will be awarded. For R22 students, you need only 21 marks to pass. Please note this thing. 21 marks to pass only. So here you can just focus on three long questions so that, uh, most of your things will be done and uh, after that write the short questions as well so that will help you in getting past so i will also upload a video on how to write the exam soon so please do subscribe to the channel so that you can just be updated until then subscribe to the channel and share the video to your friends so that's it for today guys hope you like this video please let me know any doubts in the comments i'll be more than happy to help you okay bye take care